Hi gd and students. This is the course startup walkthrough video. Okay, so when you enter Blackboard and you go into the course, it automatically takes you into this announcement screen. And this is the announcement for this semester. For an introduction to the course, which is what we're doing now, please see the course startup walkthrough and start here folder. Okay, so to do that, we're going to go to start here and start here is a handy place. That's why it's labeled start here. Um, first of all, there's the course overview. There's my instructor welcome. Here is where you find the course startup walkthrough. Here is where you find this video. I suggest that you watch this video first. So um, here's the syllabus. You can find the syllabus here. Here's the required textbook. And the required textbook is GD&T Applications and Interpretations, Sixth Edition, by Bruce Willis. I mean Bruce Wilson. Excuse me. Um, expectations: How the grades are determined. I'll put that in there. So here's where you find the syllabus. What the textbook is. If you need help, here's some useful resources. Um, here's our net etiquette guidelines. Here's the accessibility and privacy information. And here, for your references, links to the Stark State institutional policies and procedures. So again, start here is a handy place to start. Um, so this class is going to cover the language and symbology of GD&T. For each chapter, you'll have a learning objective sheet and a presentation to highlight the important points. Let me show you how this works here. I'm going to go into lessons and here's how the course is laid out. It's typically laid out by chapters. Chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, and then we're going to have a test covering chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, then chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, here's test 2, and chapter 8, chapter 9, 10, and 11, and then we're having a final project, and then test 3. Now this class is entirely online. This is a web 2. So Here's how we're going to be doing it. Each chapter is laid out just like this. Let me go into chapter one and show you. Okay, we have an object here that tells us what our objectives are. The objectives are the things I need you to understand after studying the material in that chapter. Okay, so those are your objectives first. Then we have two other folders in the chapter one. One is materials and the other one's assignments. Okay, so in materials, what you're going to find is the chapter one objective sheets. Okay, these objective sheets tell you what the objectives are for every chapter. Okay, so then, um, there is a presentation. Now the presentation is just a PowerPoint presentation. Um, you review that. Now what I want you to do is to start out when you study one of these chapters is to print out the objective sheet. Keep it in front of you as you view the presentation. Now you can slog through the presentation on your own if you want, but I have also included a video presentation which is essentially me narrating the um, presentation. It's the same presentation except that I am narrating for you in forms of a movie. If there's anything you miss and anything you really need to restudy, I suggest to go back into the presentation and review it at your own pace because these movies tend to go pretty quick. You can use them to capture the highlights, the things that I'm really trying to point out to you, but between the textbook, the objectives, the presentation and the video presentation, you should have everything you need to understand what the objectives are. Okay, so then we have assignments. Every chapter has assignments. Okay, and for the assignments, there's a note here in this folder and it says when the due date is for the assignments. So you have a chapter one study guide. Now that chapter one study guide has a bunch of questions in it. This was right from the publisher. I put them in here. So what you're going to do in chapter one study guide, it's going to have a due date. 
23 possible points and then you're going to what you're going to do is you're going to open this PDF file you're going to print it out you're going to answer all the questions that I asked to now if there's in some cases I'm not asking you to answer all of the questions in the case of chapter one I am so I want you to print out the study guide answer the questions all the applicable questions I'm asking you to answer and here's how much it's worth you complete the problems and scan it into a single PDF once you scan it into the single PDF you put your assignment submission right here in this Dropbox and then I'll grade it online so that is the assignment for the study guide the other thing we have to do for assignments and again this is due at the same time which is this 9 7 and it's the end of the day so so typically what what I'm asking you to do is a unit starts on a Monday okay so chapter one is going to start here on August 31st so then the following Monday all the assignments for chapter one are due and this is by the end of the day so you have an entire week to complete the assignments and the assignments like I said is do the study guide which is you're going to go print out this PDF you're going to fill out you're going to answer everything on it you're going to scan it and then submit it back into the Dropbox and then the other thing you have to do is the quiz okay and the quiz those are typically 10 to 12 questions I give you 45 minutes to do them and then it's it's a forced completion um, you must complete it in one sitting do not leave the test before clicking save and submit but this test will save and submit automatically when the time expires again so September 7th at uh, midnight if you will is when it's due so you take the test I mean take the quiz and then you do the study guide do this for every every lesson okay so I'm gonna go back into lessons here chapter 2 set up the same way you have your objectives you have your materials objectives presentation in this case I had to make two movies I like to keep them kind of short um, then you'll have your assignments again 914 study guide chapter 2 quiz chapter 2 so essentially that's the way this class goes when you get down to the tests the tests are going to be taken in blackboard in this case you have three hours to complete this test once you finish the test you must once you begin the test you must finish it only can be completed once and then I got a due date for these tests and this is just like taking the quizzes you take them in blackboard you click the begin you fill out the answers and then that comes back to me so if you have any questions the best way to get a hold of me is through the course messages send me a message if you have any problems if you have any concerns if you have any questions this is the best way for you to communicate to me is through the course messages I'll be checking in with Blackboard very frequently during the semester to make sure the students are up to speed they're up they're keeping up with the class because again all of these assignments have due dates so I will be checking my course messages frequently when I go back in to look at the grades and stuff like that so you need me get a hold of me here in Blackboard using the course messages okay so that is the introduction to this class when you come into the class you're going to be on the announcements page the announcements page is going to point you to the course startup walkthrough that's this video and then you'll find a lot of handy information in start here I suggest you go through it here's where you're going to find the syllabus like I said before and the textbook I said the textbook is a really good reference if you're going to be if you're going to be working in the industry if you're going to be a tool designer, NC programmer, manufacturing engineer, um, quality inspector, you name it. Whatever you're going to be doing in mechanical engineering, you're going to be working with drawings. And you're going to have to understand what's on those drawings. And this class, GD&T, is really going to help you a lot. And this textbook, like I said, is a really good reference. Okay. So thank you for listening. And good luck in this course.